hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video we're going to see how you can customize permalinks for your WordPress website. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we come with new videos on WooCommerce and WordPress every week to everyone. So permalinks. Permalinks are basically the URL of your uh, website, uh, website pages or posts or uh, anything that you browse on your website. So as you know, this is my uh, domain and when we go into the video, like uh, let's say any categories or pages or posts, you might uh, you might see that there is a, a link that there's uh, an identity of your uh, website. So as you see in the Google, when you uh, search in the Google, you can see that uh, the question you search for will be there as the URL. So this is very important for you uh, for the SEO purpose as this this URL, this slug is recognized as the identity of the content that uh, it represents. So let's see how you can uh, add this or customize this permalinks. As you see, when we when I go to a category, let's say this menswear, I'm going to this uh, category. You can see that uh, after my domain, uh, there is a year, month, date and then uh, comes the category so uh, you the month and date is very relevant uh, to your website so we can create we can just uh, we need to cut this out and just create uh, the focus as uh, as shorter this uh, is uh, then it's uh, it's very good so you need to include keywords in the url slug uh, so as to be recognized so let's see how we can uh, uh, add these URLs in the post, in the pages, and of course, how you can customize all, all at once. So let's go and uh, create a post and let's show how the permalinks are edited. So I'm going to create a post. As you can see, I am going to create a post Black Friday deals. Twenty twenty. Let's make it best Black Friday deals. All right. And I'm just going to write some content also. So this post is ready to be posted. As you can see, uh, there is when you go to document. Uh, there is a document and you can see the permalink option over here so uh, now the post is basically the domain and uh, a name which is p equal to 274 this is the address of this website so uh, this is what it is uh, saved in the domain so uh, when we uh, publish it when you click on to the publish Uh, let's see. Okay, let's view the post. Now you can see that that uh, domain is now changed to the similar uh, pattern, which is day, uh, year, date, and time, and then this uh, heading, the title of the website. So basically, uh, this is very much longer than express, uh, expected. Uh, you can add uh, if you want, like this, uh, whatever title you give, that will be uh, present in the website in the slug. So let's see how we can edit that. So let's go back. And now you can see that this uh, there is a new option when you publish. Uh, this is applicable only when you publish. So uh, you can see that there's a URL slug. So you can edit this out. Best e-commerce deal. Okay, 2020. That's okay. That's fine. So uh, when uh, you can update this. And then you can uh, you can uh, add whatever uh, whatever you want over here, but the thing is the year and month and date uh, that is a fixed one. That's a fixed part. So we have to clear that out. Whatever comes is uh, is after that year, month, and date. So we have to uh, fix that. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's also uh, choose the case of the pages. So when you have to edit the pages. Uh, you just have to go into the quick edit and then you can see that slug. So basically uh, here the date and time is not much applicable in the in the context of the page. So pages uh, pages what comes after this. 
so let's go and update and let's view it so you have a better idea of that okay so now it's only domain and the cart that's it so you don't have to go uh, over there so let's see how you can remove that part where comes the year month and date let's go to plugin uh, sorry uh, let's go to the settings and you can see permalinks option over here so this is a permalink uh, option setting here you can see there's a plain option uh, which is the first one which is what uh, we got when uh, we first uh, got the got the thing now it is now set as day and name so this is a uh, year date and and the sample post sample post is whatever the title of the uh, page is now then is month and name then there is generic like archives like any numeric uh, value that is given to the post and then uh, then it's the uh, post name so basically we uh, just have to click on the post name as you can see this uh, this uh, this post name uh, will only be the uh, title of the post also you can also choose a custom structure where you can use this tags like uh, year month day how minute second post id category author or anything like that so such things can be categorized from over here so we are just going to choose the post name also there is an optional thing which is the category tag base and product ca category product tag base like uh, when you have a WooCommerce website, you need to uh, give a product category, then comes the uh, product name. So you can add those over here and also categories. Categories are basically the in what category this comes in. If you have uh, preset the categories, you can uh, view that over here or you can give that over here. Then there are some product permalinks, uh, which is the product slash sample products. Then there is shop uh default or you can just give whatever you want or you can just choose a custom one instead uh, of that all right then we just have to we have chosen this post name and now we'll just save the changes all right now let's go back to the post and see how the post is now we just published this post now you can see that the 2020 the year month all those have been removed so that's how you deal with the permalink and edit the permalinks it is best to add a keyword when you create a blog post or anything like that so that the uh, the the whoever searches in the google you can uh, the or the search engine they can direct the search engine can directly crawl and that can be a beneficial so you make sure that your permalinks are apt and perfect for your website so that's it that's all about today don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also like the video. We'll be back with another video. Bye.